Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Will Fortress. I'm Will and I watch classic shows and movies. So here we are. This is episode one of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. So hopefully, as you know, I've just watched, re-watched the Mighty Ducks movies from my childhood. So there's a new show, which is this one we're going to watch, which is called Mighty Ducks Game Changers on Disney+. Plus. So I haven't heard much about this show, but unfortunately I was spoiled in a thumbnail by seeing one of the main characters in it. Is he a main character as a guest appearance? But I've seen a usage of him as a thumbnail. So that kind of ruined it for me because I'm hoping, I was hoping to not be spoiled, but here we are, there's like Marvel movies, spoilers everywhere. So, firstly like and subscribe, comment below, follow me on the platforms and let me know what you think about this show. So, I don't know what else I, really I can say, I like the movies, um, Charlie Sheen's character Gordon Bombay and Charlie were my favourite characters. The other characters were cool, but they weren't my favourites. And maybe we'll get a guest appearance by them at some point. So anyway, there's 10 episodes this season, I've heard. And we're currently airing episode 4, so it's time for me to finally catch up. So, thanks for watching. See you after the show. The Ducks on the Ice is a logo. Home of the Mighty Ducks. For two youth hockey podcasts in Southeastern. <laughs> Practice of the new season for the Mighty Ducks Junior Division. This is real. Mighty Ducks Junior Division. Hopefully we'll get a few seasons out of this and see them growing up. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. You know I can't be late on the first day. Paralegal. That's you to uh, go through this. She's a lawyer like Gordon Bombay was. She had to take her twins to hockey practice. You know she never misses it. She's a great mom. Coach T seems to be sporting a new mullet. Coach T was his 16. The Ducks are a powerhouse organization. With a record 10 state championships. A little different than the Ducks of the 90s. They actually used to quack. <laughs> Adorable. That was. Water. Sunscreen, sunscreen. You know we play indoors, right? That's what SPF 15 is for. I love how they've kept the colour scheme going through all the logos and stuff. The Mighty Ducks Game Changers. She made it. Where were you? Oh, I was at the office doing that thing you asked Dan to ask me. Oh, is she going to be a rival or something? You have a college counsellor already? Yeah. You don't? You are so brave. What's going on? Close, but you missed the cone. I'm not aiming for the cone. Whoa! Oh, she's good. I like the new uniforms. You don't want a replay of that cheese puff incident. Cheese puff incident. There is real cheese in those. <laughs> Boy, why is there two factions, the Mighty Ducks? No bash brothers this time. You can bash yourself against the ball. I gotta cut you. No, that's a shame. But I'm a mighty duck. This is my team. I guess it's not. You're just too small to compete at the next level. That's not fair. But aren't you always saying you can't measure heart? Yeah, that's something I got off the internet and I'm phasing it out. Something you got off the internet. I mean, at, at this age, if you can't be great at hockey, it's like, don't bother. That's right. My kid loves hockey, but I guess that doesn't matter now. Does no one see the insanity but me? Look, these parents are serious. No, it's filming it. It's going to come back to you. Shouldn't kids be able to play sports for fun? Guess not. These are children. This is a game. You don't bother. That's him told. The awkward exit. So for tonight on the wraparound, any chance for a follow-up interview? <laughs> I don't think so. Great, I'm headed over. It reminds me of be little Sean Aston. Did I hear the maintenance crew on their walkie-talkie saying what a fool you made of yourself? 
I did. <laughs> but at my age, if you're not already awesome, practicing seven days a week and on a club team or whatever, it's... I think she's going to start up her own Mighty Ducks club. Let's start our own team. The Misfits. A whole group of don't bothers. Mm-hmm. Do it. It says in order to be a team, you just have to have six players, a home rank, and a coach over the age of 21. Nah. Do that. But you have to be registered by team day this Friday. So Maybe do that. You guys find four more players and let's just get out there and have fun. Four more players? That shouldn't be too hard. I do not own ice skates. <laughs> That looks familiar. Have you ever thought of playing hockey? Nah, no, too many rules. Is here where we get introduced, get introduced to the kids? You're asking me to quit the dumps? Hello ladies. Nah. Want to join a ragtag yet very hip hockey team? No, sorry. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. The scrunchies back in fashion then? They make fun of me because I dress like a warrior princess and go to Magic the Gathering. <laughs> the jocks. You don't bother, you sir. Don't bother. <laughs> you don't bother, you don't bother, sir. Assholes. So why do you not let that girl with the Magic the Gathering join? Big first practice tomorrow. And son. He's smart. Do you need Bluetooth on for that? The seed has been planted. Nah. <laughs> Username Coob13. Jaden Kubler. Our age played this game for 10,000 hours. Addicted to his phone, but he's going to come in useful. Move 13. So that's him. And I think you're in my Spanish class. Hola, amigo. <laughs> and why would you think I could even play for real? Goldberg was the same. <laughs> he's going to be the goalie. It's probably not called a goalie, but you know what I mean. Called reflexes, cube. Then I don't have to wear pants. Oh. How can you have no ice time? You're the last place on my list. Oh, that's lucky. That's the universe telling you. Pardon me. I know it's the writers telling you, but it's the universe telling you. Perfect. I'm looking for the um. Nice the manager. Much, Charlie the manager. Yeah, hold on. Now he recognizes his voice. If you're looking to rent skates, that's up front. That's the thumbnail I see. Skates. I have not skated since my triumphant turn in eighth grade when I uh, did a routine to Whitney Houston's The Greatest Love of All. <laughs> my son just got fired from his hockey team by a very mean coach. Let me guess. The Ducks? Nah. How old? I think they were seven year olds? No, the cake. How old? <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't see the sign. Kind of says it all. I hate hockey. Oh, I see. Back on that stunt again. Please, isn't there something I can say to convince you to let us play? Something to it. I found a city surplus for youth hockey that was unclaimed. How much are we talking about? We might be able to find some wiggle room on the no hockey thing. Yeah. Were you some sort of professional hockey player? Mm-hmm. I have 24 hours to find a coach, and I'm just saying... I am not the coach type. It's like uh, movie one again. Welcome to the Ice Palace. I wonder what happened for him to end up there. Oh, new neighbors moving in. Go, go, line, line, oh, go, line, line. There you go. And so Logan, we were, uh, we were thinking, maybe you want to join our hockey team? It didn't even tell him where it was. And legend has it, a kid once fell through the ice and he's still there. <laughs> and he's still there. Technically, obviously he has a dad, but he's never drop out of law school to take <laughs> she said that she should didn't have to listen I have a feeling maybe he'll be pitched by the other team oh oh he's a newbie okay okay that's it I'm done we have to show up tomorrow at 4 p.m. with the team I see you've gone to 4 p.m. it's plenty of time ever since I was cut no one wants to be my friend. The girl from Magic the Gathering. A video of your speech went viral. Last thing he needs is for you to go in and rescue him all the time. Mm -hmm. My mom never did that for me. Great. I mean, look at you now. <laughs> You're Gordon Bombay. He used to coach the old Mighty Ducks. He invented the flying V. I coached the Ducks a lifetime ago. It's going to get talked into it now. Come on. 
tell off the old team, you set up the new one, you make them wear sunscreen indoors. <laughs> I bet you even still slice his grapes in half. Does she slice your grapes? You don't have to answer that. She does. You could. <laughs> you gotta back off, or this boy is never gonna become his own man. Feel the mighty music in the background, the inspirational music. Then you gotta make this happen for yourself. Is the ducks aren't the center of the universe. I'm sure be saying that on this show. The second I was cut from the team, they cut me from their lives. Assholes. I'm starting a new team. Just me, Nick, and Logan. Come on, third time lucky the girl from Magic the Gathering. So is there anyone who wants in? I'm in. Yay! I've never played hockey, but I think I might have an inner rage that really needs an outlet. <laughs> So, I want to join you. I mean, can I? Is that okay? Or... Very okay. <laughs> Scrunchy girl. I'm there. All right. Do it. And I'm just going to throw this Gatorade bottle away. So not with you. <laughs> it's not cool. Men don't cut their grapes. <laughs> That other girl wanted to join. Hello and welcome to the Southeastern Minnesota Club Division Team Day. It's like a football match, they're gonna sing We Will Rock You. Oh wait, who's gonna be your coach? It has to be you. I knew anything, Mom. No. What's your name? The name for your team. Don't Fathers! Nah! <laughs> oh, we bad nostalgia. Back Jacks and Hip Jacks. Are now allowed. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is he allowed to say that on the Disney Plus? Who's going to coach? I am. Really? I thought you hadn't skated since you were a kid. If I'm going to rent you the rink, I need to know that you're rice safe. I mean, that's a liability thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. I had to remember that. <laughs> she looks good. Yeah. <laughs> And that was my reaction to the Mighty Ducks Game Changers episode 1 from season 1. And wow, that was much better than I thought it was going to be. I was dubious about going in to watch this, but now I'm kind of getting excited because it's not as slow as I thought it was going to be. And it's a wee bit more exciting. I'm sure it's going to be one of my favourite shows, easily from the most recent years because maybe a bit uncomfy so what did you think about it let me know in the comments below did you like it um yeah it's good to see gordon bombay back i think he's him and his the wee boys i think that gordon and the boy's mother is gonna have a wee bit of a romance going there because it's a shame that he hasn't settled down. I thought he would have settled in with Charlie's mum eventually, but they didn't, obviously. So, I look forward to seeing where Gordon's character goes and hopefully doesn't disappear near the end like he did in the Mighty Ducks movies. Um, yeah, so far I like all the kid characters and the girl from the Mighty Ducks it looked like she wanted to join from the popular girls. Uh, I think she will jump over like Banks did. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below, remember. And I guess we'll see you next episode. Episode 2.